Hi there. Today I wanted to show you how to customize Peppermint 9. Um, I did do a previous video on Peppermint 8. Uh, this is very similar, uh, but there are a few other different tweaks, and that's the reason for uh, making this video. Uh, I did describe in the uh, in Peppermint 8 uh, how to, uh, I believe it was Peppermint 8, it might have been in another video, how to put the panel off to the left. The uh, reason I do it is that I just think that uh, the horizontal space of your display is more critical uh, to have available to you at any time. And there's usually more space uh, vertically, and that's why I placed it off to the left. Um, anyway, uh, the, the reason also for showing this video is that I like the breeze theme better than the options that are in Peppermint. Um, it, it just has a cleaner look to me. Um, there are a few uh, tweaks you have to make to to make it look similar to Breeze, but otherwise it works very well. So I'll just begin here in describing uh, how to do that. So with Breeze, you do need to install the uh, ap application, the icons, and I also have the cursor, as you can see here, that I installed. So you go in your Start menu, go to Synaptic Package Manager, put in your password, You'll have to wait for it to populate, um, and in this instance, it came up rather quickly this time. Um, so I'm just going to begin here. Uh, so what you can do is just put in the word breeze, and you'll notice various uh, apps here uh, that can be installed that are that have the word breeze in them. What we're looking for is your icon theme breeze icon theme and the breeze cursor theme and you'll notice there's a little check in each one meaning that it's already been installed I don't know whether you can see that but uh, they have already been installed for my purposes here so um, there's no real need other than just showing you how to uh, install it here once you highlight it uh, you'd click apply um, once it's installed, you would uh, log out, log in, or reboot to implement the changes. Um, close Synaptic here. Uh, then go back into your Start menu. Uh, go into um, All Settings. Then go into the uh, Customized Look and Feel. And you'll be at the first tab, which is Widget. Now, um, I believe that the initial one would have been red, uh, being that it's peppermint. I've changed it to blue because I just think it looks uh, matches more the breeze theme. So the widget is, is peppermint, uh, blue, dark in, in my uh, setup. I've also changed the default font to the size 12. I just think it's easier to read. I think it initially is 10 or 11. Um, I leave the second tab alone. You can play with it, but uh, you'll most likely I may not use it. Um, anyway, go on to the third tab. You want to. You'll notice, I guess, that I've installed Breeze and Dark Breeze, and of course, I've chosen Dark. Um, then I going going onto the mouse cursor. Um, once I've installed the Breeze, uh, the Breeze cursor theme, you'll have the dark breeze and the white uh, breeze or snow breeze and the default was DMZ white I believe I just think that this the breeze icon theme looks a little nicer and it's a little bit easier to see so that's why I've installed it and basically you're done there so once those are installed you're able to change those settings um, the other thing I think I'm going to go into briefly is the trash can. Uh, to get the trash can uh, so that you can actually see it, um, that I'm aware of on at least how to how to display it is to you'll have to go into your um, the deconf editor, and when you do click on it, it's going to warn you be careful. So just be aware that you need to you can mess things up here, and it's just warning you. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'll be careful and what you're looking for is there's a pathway here org Nemo desktop and I believe that's where it's it originates right there 
and what you're going to do is scroll down towards the bottom and what I've done is check trash icon visible for the desktop and that's why it's here and I've also checked the volumes visible which is my second partition so it shows it otherwise if you have these unchecked you would not see those um, so be careful but when you're in here you read what you're doing check what you want or uncheck what you don't want but uh, you might want to do things incrementally to be cautious and then to, uh, you may have to log out log in to, to render the changes um, also this is a shortcut to a folder that's in my doc and documents so i'll show you that you go into documents or i'm sorry not documents it's under music i have a internet radio tab with various links to internet radio and <clears throat> what i've done is you right click on it left click make link and it'll put the link here and then you just right click cut and paste it on your desktop you might be able to, to uh, minimize that drag it out there but otherwise you could right click cut and then paste it out here um, I've already have it and then I also I'll, let me delete this first um, delete and then once I had it on the desktop I also renamed it uh, got rid of the link part of it and just left it as the original name that I had um, and then the trash with breeze when the trash is full it'll have a display a red color and when you empty it if right click left click empty it goes back to blue so that's kind of nifty to have for breeze um, also the uh, th there's three icons that I've added here uh, your logout a reboot um, and in doing that you would right click this is a this is your original panel this is a second panel third panel fourth panel being the clock the second panel and the clock panel uh, are on auto hide so if I maximize well let's just open this up I, don't know, I guess I can't maximize that let's maximize uh, the um, what do you call it I'm already forgetting the name uh, X X ed or I don't know how you pronounce it but it's the the text editor default text editor if I maximize it it takes away the the panels because they're on auto hide so uh, pretty nifty to have it you can all you have to do is hover the mouse down at the edge you've got your panel at the top you got your clock if I uh, shrink it down you still have they, they reappear um, so it's kind of nifty the way I have it so these panels uh, are described in a previous video that I won't go into on how to how to implement that um, but I wanted to get back to these particular um, little uh, applets I guess you call them so the logout um, applet or application is the same as what's here so if you the logout if you click on it it gives you the it prompts you with all these options so I just duplicated it here and, and how to do that you would click on your panel whatever panel you're in so um, well let's just do one let's do it over let's do it on this side so right click to the panel left click property or I'm sorry go into your panel uh, menu down here you're gonna add items once you see this you're gonna create you're gonna add a launcher so you would highlight that click add and it's actually been added down here the the problem in breeze is that it doesn't render the default icon so you'll see a blank space or a blank icon and it'll be up to you to, to change that icon to whatever icon you want to choose so I'll just go through the motions here so you're adding a launcher here's the launcher here 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 is the menu that I just think I put up so we'll click close for now then go back here where that launcher is now now right click on it left click properties and then when you're in that launcher you've got two options either edit or uh, add and in this instance you're going to need to add you're going to need to name that launcher whatever you want to call it we'll just call it uh, 
Joe, I, I guess you could call it whatever you want, but try to obviously name it to whatever your that app that launcher is supposed to be for. So, uh, and once you name it, then you need to have the right command to implement that launcher. So if you, um, I don't know a lot about commands. I do know the ones I have here and I'm only going to demonstrate those at this point. So I'm only going to show you this far just to give you an example of creating the launcher. So you name it, you put in your command, then you'll have to give it an icon. So you click on icon and there'll be a slight delay because it has to render all the icons. Uh, then what you also want to do is this is a, a limitation of application icons. If I want to see all of them, then click uh, the drop down here, go to all icons and I'll reshuffle. And now you'll have, I believe, every icon that's in the system. So once you're in here, you also want to narrow down what you're looking for. So if I wanted to that the icon that I named Joe, I guess you could look for somebody with a like a person or a, a, I don't even know if that's going to come up person. Uh, well, we'll just say, OK, alien is Joe, because that's the closest thing to a person. So you could click on that, click OK. You'll notice that you have an icon. Uh, and once you have the command, it'll actually show that icon down here. But I'm giving you a, a demo here briefly, so I can't show you the whole thing. I'm just giving you the, the process. So let me cancel this. Close that, and we're also going to eliminate this launcher, so I'm going to remove it. And now I'm just going to go back and show you what I've done here. So these, this logout, to create that, I can just show you the, the, the uh, part of it. Right-click on it, go to Properties, left-click, then go into Edit, and you can see that I named it Logout. And what's critical here is the command has to say peppermint dash logout there may be another command but this is the one that i am aware of and then i changed the icon to look like this and then click save and that's how i got this this app or the, the duplicate of what's here now on the other one this is a reboot uh, right click on it left click properties then go into, you can go to, well, edit, because I want to show you what I did. So I named it reboot. The command is reboot, lowercase. And I changed that icon to look like that. Um, and I was trying to emulate the Breeze theme or the similar icons that are used in Breeze, because I, I just prefer that. Click Save, and, you, and I, I have the uh, reboot ability. Uh, screenshot, you have screenshots already installed. But it, I don't know if it'll even show an icon. And if it does, I think I changed it or I wanted it to look like th uh, this particular icon. So the same example for this. You don't need to create a command for that because it, it's an app that's already installed. You just need to change the icon. So you'd right click and go through that process of changing the icon. So I was just showing you the cosmetic changes. Um, I put the little peppermint icon here as well as, as what it is over here on the left on your start menu. This is a just a launch menu. Uh, let me right click on it and show you. Um, well, let's see where, where it locates that icon. So it's just the it's under uncategorized icon and it just says peppermint. And I believe that's the same exact icon that's used uh, in your start menu. And I just duplicated that in the right corner. And this is a, just, uh, let me let, see if I can find where it is in here. Um, add items. Yeah, it's the application menu, I'm sorry. So you've got your application menu and it may actually show this little uh, mouse icon as the default. So I changed it to the, the um, peppermint. Uh, to kind of, you know to complement the peppermint uh, OS um, and then what I've also done is change the paper wall uh, paper wall the the uh, wallpaper uh, to peppermint basically I think I did a search under Google that showed um, I think I put typed in peppermint wallpaper and then found this 
and I thought it looked particularly uh, nice, so I went with it. And um, this is just my little cosmetic changes of uh, peppermint, and that's what's great about uh, this OS is that you can make it your own. And I actually think it runs uh, a bit faster than Zubuntu, so if I was to choose between the two at this point, I would go with Peppermint. I just think it runs a little quicker, and uh, I I think it's a little more, uh, it's been tweaked by the, uh, uh, I guess you call it the designers of the OS, have tweaked this uh, in a particular way, and I think it runs very well, so I'm quite happy with it, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed some of this video. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, talk to you later.